Good morning everybody. Today we are back at the peanut land. Peanut is land. Peanut is life. Unless you're allergic then maybe just peanut land. Um, and today we're just going to be fishing the Lake Worth Lagoon. We're going to start here at Peanut Island. Yeah, we're going to do like half snorkel fishing, half casting. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot more luck with snorkel fishing because the last time I went here I don't think the conditions are right. I don't think my bait was right. Now I have shrimp and I think it's a lot better bait than uh, clams now. So yeah, and then once high tide gets here, it's about 2 p.m. We're going to head over to the Blue Heron Bridge and try snorkel fishing over there. I think we're going to have a lot of luck. We had a lot of luck last time. So hopefully it will re history will repeat itself. Uh, yes. Okay, let's get started. Wait for the wake of this giant cargo ship to go past, and then we'll head out to that side. That side's a little shallow, but try to some stuff over here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there's our slippery dick. Literally the bluehead chub of the ocean. They will come out of nowhere and steal your bait from in front of the fish you're trying to catch. But very slimy, very stabby, a bunch of spines, but also extremely pretty and extremely obnoxious. What a fish! <laughs> uh, we're just gonna let him go though. Alright, let's go get that bunny. So there's our bluehead wrasse absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh <laughs> its head has been like turning colors it went from blue to like a green then back to a blue and then its, its backer body went you know to a yellow from like a like a greenish that is awesome all right so i couldn't find a female but this fish is still pretty crazy it swims with its pectoral fins and like a fanning motion Let's check that out right now Take a couple casts so we can can't catch some of these surgeon fish. Oh, hey, look at this. Wow. Okay, that's a new species. Well, there's a second new species of the day, smallmouth grunt. I saw a ginormous school of them down there a couple days ago, but nothing today. Definitely a new species though. Second one of the day. It's awesome. I believe you can tell it's a smallmouth because it has all these yellow stripes on it and its mouth is kind of small, I guess. <laughs> I just go by the yellow stripes. But uh, yeah, we're going to take a close look at that one. I think it's a smallmouth though. Going back. Alright, redemption time. Trying to catch a scorpion fish on the water. I think I'm just gonna hook it and fight it from here, and then when it's on the, you know, like power it out, tuck it out, I'm gonna put the rod on the rod holder here and get on the kayak. I did see a parrotfish come after my bait while I was down there. So maybe we'll get a parrotfish bite. Hey, French grunt. New species for the trip. Yep, so there's our French grunt. Very colorful species of grunt. I found that they really like hanging around rocks, like the larger rocks, all on the bottom of them, right on the bottom. Anyways, let it go. We'll get some. A little slippery dick. Going back. Very old fish. 
It is many magnitudes of order busier here today than it was any other day of the week. It is a Friday. This is, this is a either a Bwet Gregory or a juvenile Kokoa damselfish. I don't know. The dot at the back of the dorsal fin is halfway on the body, halfway on the fin. I don't know what that tells me exactly, but it is a damselfish. It is our second species of damselfish. The first one was a sergeant major, which there's literally hundreds. You can see them right there to the surface. All right, little damsel boy, going back. There he goes. I did see a hogfish down there, Spanish hogfish. And those look extremely similar, but that's just an animal. Complete overhaul my circle rod. Got um the Chicago placed down one more rung and the 20 size 20 hook placed down one more rung. These fish are a little bit more skittish than they are in fresh water, so hopefully this lets me get a little bit closer. Well I think I might have missed that eat on camera, just barely. <laughs> we might we might get another eat from the species again today. But I, whatever this species is, <laughs> it has a very, very distinct teardrop on it, which I'm assuming is indicative of some species. It's also got a ton of like little crimson spots on it, or brown or crimson, whatever you want to call them. Very cool. And its uh, teardrops extend above the eyeballs, and its little suction cup on the bottom is pretty large, so I don't think it's a frill fin. I just flipped a boulder down there. And it shot out. I <laughs> placed the bait in front of his face. Hello there. And then I ate it. So very dramatic. Let it go. All right, the on little shiny boy. There it goes, floating all the way down. Play bear we Don't get him. All right, well, there's a little blenny. Not sure what species, could be a new one, or it could just be a seaweed. Not entirely sure. It's Siri are like really short compared to the other ones. The other ones are like, you know, giant eight point antlers. This one, this one's really small. It's still got that honeycomb on the cheek though, and those little white dots on the body. Yeah, not sure. Yep, I've been seeing a bunch of like little sea bass things swimming around, like some kind of serranid. I don't, I can't get any of them to bite though. Once I got the new rod tied up, I couldn't find any, you know, that weren't surrounded by slippery dicks that were trying to, like, harass me. I do think it is another seaweed blenny, Parablenius maromus. Oh well, got a, nice, got a really nice leopard pattern to it. We're just gonna cast around now, hope for that uh, that porcupine puffer or one of those tangs to bite. There are a ton of tangs down there. I don't know how to get them to bite though. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. We caught at least, I think two new species of fish. What, bluehead rats? kind of goby and then something else. Uh, I forget the other thing. Anyways, it was a great day fishing. I think the videos starting out from here are going to be freshwater again. I have at least two more freshwater Florida videos planned. 
and then yeah back to Virginia and then to whoever knows where else after that whenever I find a job back to the you know applying to job drawing something just broke me off in that rock I hope you all enjoyed them here's a list of all the saltwater species I found on this trip just I don't know probably like 50 species absolutely insane yeah, peanut land in Phil Foster Island are a great place to go multi-species fishing. Anyways, I'll catch y'all next time.